What is up everybody? How you doing today? We're out here on Quattro Colinas again and we're going to be continuing the missions. So our first mission to start us off is to find the missing goat. Okay. So apparently if y'all remember from the last episode, the farmer lost his favorite goat. He doesn't know where it is, but we're supposed to go chat near a tree where the goat used to frequent and um see if we can find it there so yeah let's go see if we can find our missing goat you're getting close to the tree that manuel mentioned can you see any sign of paloma not yet but then again it might be right here beside so let's see if there is a goat um uh oh crap um that is a very dead looking goat okay um i will be sure to take a trip to visit manuel this evening so i can inform him in person i will take some flowers yeah please do cuz it appears that she was killed and then abandoned Surprising behavior for a predator. Are there any clues as to what did this? Um, there's blood and then These there's were left by a wolf. But this is strange behavior. Huh. The wolves tend not to take prey from this part of the reserve. But maybe one got desperate. We ought to investigate this further and track down the creature that did this. Alright. It's essential that even if we don't catch it, we ensure that it hasn't lingered in the area putting the other ghosts at risk. It does appear that the tracks are leading away from the pasture, though. With any luck, the wolf won't come back. Alright, so we need to follow the wolf tracks. Looks like they head right over here towards the, uh, the quarry. So let's see, maybe there'll be a wolf over here. That'd be cool. Hmm. I do not know. But, uh, yeah, that is... Looks like they used one of the Ibex models or something. And then made smaller horns for it. I don't know, that actually looked kind of cool. I don't know, it's just me. But, uh, yeah, so... As if on cue, the wolves start howling. I don't know if that, uh, is part of the mission or not. But, um, they sure have started howling. So, yeah, uh, should be getting somewhat close looks like the tracks continue to lead up that way. I don't think the wolf maybe he could jump that or did he go that way I'm not not sure well I do not know these are not wolf tracks that's a wild boar but um oh they're gone at least, they never used to be. Since taking over responsibility for the reserve from my father while he gets better, I have started to realize just how much effort goes into maintaining Cuatro Colinas. There's the goat. Vista España are quite determined to have a meeting with my father, but he is in no position to negotiate a deal at the moment. I find myself too busy with the small tasks of running the reserve, making it impossible to deal with anything else. I had planned to take him to visit my mother's memorial today. A close family friend, Padre Abbas, has made a wreath and offered to go in our stead. I wonder if he got a chance to visit. He's a busy man too. He spends most of his free time exploring the reserve when he isn't stopping by to visit us at the Castillo. I don't know if he will get an opportunity to visit the memorial today. And I know that I won't get a chance for at least a week. She deserves better. I should be up there now, instead of meeting with lawyers and accountants. I know that bureaucracy is necessary to run a game reserve, but it all seems trivial when compared to taking care of my family. Even though she's gone, I still feel a sense of duty. I apologize. 
You don't need to hear this. Yeah, because you I talk too much. To wow, I swear. She does not stop talking. Photograph the memorial. Alright, so it looks like we need to head to her mother's memorial or something. It's right up this way. And then uh, take a picture of it. So yeah, let's get a move on. Alright, so here's the memorial. And I actually have move on over here. But I guess I need to photograph first, maybe? You're at the memorial. You did not have to travel up there on my behalf. But I am very grateful for the picture. <sighs> Padre made the trip after all, it seems. Yeah, I see the wreath. His wreaths are so beautiful, don't you think? He makes them from wild flowers that he finds on his travels. My mother used to make them too. Hmm. She was such a wonderful person. She always tried to get the most out of every day. She never seemed to rest. It's a shame that you never met her. I think you two would have got on well. She loved walking those trails as much as anyone else I've ever met. <laughs> My father used to joke that she only married him so she could spend her weekends in the woods. I, since we lost her, I've been trying to keep it together here, but I honestly don't know if I'm doing enough. I thought that revitalizing the outpost would help, but we need more. Padre Abbas has been very kind to me, and I know that he trusts me to do what's right. His counsel has been invaluable. I want to thank him for his support. He's putting a book together, and I think we can help him with his work. Okay. I have told him how to get in touch with you. I take it as a personal favor if you helped him out. He doesn't ask for anything from me, but I want to pay him back. All However, right. Padre Abbas so. is far from the only person who could use some assistance. The reserve's resident vet has some concerns following your discovery of the dead goat and the wolf tracks. If a wolf strays out of his usual territory and kills a goat but does not feed, it can be an indicator of rabies. It's a worst case scenario, but we should consider it just in case. So I need to harvest a wolf. There are other potential reasons for this behavior. <sighs> the thing is, this isn't the first time this has happened. It's not public knowledge, but I feel that now is the time to tell you. My mother's passing was... She was killed in a wolf attack. My father spent days afterwards trying to hunt down the wolf that did it, but ultimately there is no way of knowing. He returned home and hasn't hunted since. I won't let it happen again. We need to establish if this is an isolated case or if there's a wider problem that we must tackle. First things first, we need a sample from a wolf in its home range. If it turns out to have signs of rabies, we know that we have a problem. If not, then we can adjust our strategy and explore any alternative possibilities. You can still harvest it, but we need the brain so that we can run some tests. Alright, so good news is I heard a wolf uh, mating call right over here, and looky there, one has presented itself to us about as perfect as you could please. So, real quickly, so I want to make sure I make a decent shot and don't have to go tracking it for years. So, once he moves his leg, just like that, we smoked that wolf, and he should be down. So yeah, I'm going to complete that mission, and hopefully this wolf does not have rabies, but I don't know how you can get a good indicator of whether or not a wolf has rabies by just taking out one. You'd have to shoot like several, but whatever. I really don't care. Wolves are a bit of a pain in the butt to find. I really don't like hunting them all that much. They're just so hard to find. Another female up there. Good thing. Generally, there are some up this way. That's why I always, if I need to hunt a wolf, I need to usually come up this way. So, where did he land? Oh, there he is. Alright. 
Our vet is offering to work out of hours, so I am hoping to have answers soon. I'll let you know if the tests indicate rabies. If it turns out to be the case, I hope we've caught it early. He looks so happy though. Please exercise <laughs> extra caution and let me know if you find anything out of the ordinary. Aye aye, Captain. I am having the strangest day. I just received a call from Sole Santiago, one of my neighbors. She is an olive farmer who has become a, a de facto representative for most of the people working the land here. She told me that one of our farmers has had his barn broken into, which is strange enough for a barn in the middle of nowhere. Alright. What makes it truly bizarre is that this farmer's tractor has had the tires slashed. Hmm. Apparently there are footprints that lead from the barn. I know that you weren't planning on chasing any people during your time here, but if you could put your tracking prowess to use, I'd appreciate it. Alright, no problem. Where is this barn? The farmer who owns the tractor was opening up this morning when he spotted that the lock on the barn was broken. Sometimes neighbors get a little petty and do stupid things, but Armando is such a sweet man. He wakes up early, tends to his crops, and goes home. Alright. I can't imagine anybody wanting to do this to him. He seems pretty surprised about it all, too. Alright, so looks like we need to go to this farm and investigate the uh, tractor with the slash tire. So, yeah, we're going to do this mission. And then, I don't know, we'll see what the next one is. We might do one more. Might not. Just depends. This lady talks forever. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Let's go investigate the tractor. Alright. So, we have arrived here. Let's see. Ah, there's the tractor. And, oh yeah. I see. That tractor is definitely out of action. On the plus side, Armando doesn't store anything valuable in there. The True. footprint should be nearby. Should be right out here. There's also a lot of animal prints, which is going to make this be careful. very interesting. These footprints and what they're capable of. Armando is an old man, so it's for the best that he didn't go trying to track them down. Huh. Hopefully you won't encounter any trouble. I don't know if we're going to find anything. But I'll admit, I'm curious about what's happened here. Alright. Well, um... Just keep following the tracks right here. Looks like they're leading to the road. And then just going down the road right here. There looks to be some tire tracks or something. So, let's we'll see what we have to do about that. But, uh, yeah. So, what's the plan? They end once they get back to the road. But look, there's tire tracks here. The tracks were left by something heavy. Take a picture with the footprints and tire tracks inside it and send it to me. Well, like, most vehicles are Santiago pretty heavy. Santiago happened to mention that she has been chatting with some of the other farmers. It would appear that news of Armando's tractor and Manuel's lost goat has spread, and it's making them nervous. Okay. Of course, these two incidents are very different, but it's putting the farmers on edge. <sighs> Things like this didn't happen when my parents were in charge. I just need to make it clear that we are taking care of things still. Okay. One farmer has taken to planting old hunting traps. I don't know if they're hoping to catch a wolf or a vandal, but either way, I want you to remove these traps from my reserve. They are an old design, extremely okay. dangerous, and have a tendency to injure but not cleanly kill the animal that wanders into them. Alright. If a person were to somehow be caught in one, I hate to even consider it. Sure. Santiago told me that the farmer who plays the traps has gone on vacation with his family. He's shaken. 
He had apparently spotted something running along the back of his fields at dusk, just as he was about to go home. I can understand his anxiety. Nobody is more concerned about the problems we're all facing than I am. But I wish they'd come to me. Santiago sure. has been a real help, keeping me in the loop about what's going on amongst the farmers. But I fear that she is losing confidence as well. She takes my calls, but I rarely see her anymore. I am just glad that we see eye to eye about these dangerous traps. Alright, so let's go pick these traps up. I mean, I don't know, this should be a fairly quick mission, so we might as well just go on ahead and finish it. But, uh, yeah, so let's go pick these up. Alright, here's one trap. Disarm. That's one down. Here should be trap number two. Here's trap number three. Three. You've still got all your fingers attached, yes? Good. Alright, and trap number four should be right up here. Here, bunny rabbit. And there we what? go. Did you hear that? What? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's aggressive. All right. Um, crap. Uh, he is a legendary. I really don't want to mess this up. Get turned around, you stupid puppy dog. Stop facing me. Ah, you snot. That should be good right there. And dodge it. Ah, stop it. <sighs> Stupid dog. Yeah, he's dead. But let's see. And diamond. A wonderful couple from a nearby village have asked me to be present at their wedding. As you know, things are extremely hectic at the moment, but I'm considering taking the day off to attend. Arturo Why are we talking about weddings? And has refurbished some antique pieces for my family over the years. He's even let us use his workshop to make custom frames for our hunting trophies. I'd like to repay them. So you and I are going to acquire a fitting centerpiece for their dinner table. For um. this centerpiece, I need a wild boar. And I am confident that you got an eye for an impressive specimen. If circumstances were different, I'd be doing the hunting myself. I haven't hunted wild boar since I returned to the reserve. Of course, this is where it helps to have you as my trusted confidant. Since you started working here, I have been able to start gathering momentum. There's still um. so many problems to take care of, but I feel like I can start handling them now. Uh. Even with Mr. Spania convincing the neighbors that we have their best interests at heart. Even the simple things like basic maintenance around the reserve. You were hired as a hunter, but you've also had to solve some unorthodox problems. I appreciate the extra effort you've put in. Yeah, you've been um... a true friend to me during a difficult time. It means a great deal. Uh, does she not seem to care about the fact I just got attacked by a wolf? What is this woman's problem? I swear, just rambling on and on. Well, that was pretty cool. Uh, tell you, that bugger's always a pain in the butt to shoot, I swear. Um, I back on my old account, I messed him up one time. Uh, just not knowing and uh, shot him right in the head. But, uh, yeah, so you got to make a good shot on him, and he does not make it easy. So, Wow. Alright, well, I think that is where we're going to end it for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time.